It felt great. Um, it's what we're used to. Having uh, as close to full strength as we've been all year and slowly trying to get pick up momentum and get back to how we play basketball on both ends of the floor. Uh, I was excited to see Draymond assert himself early, obviously on the defensive end, which is what he's capable of doing every night. But um, pushing in transition for us uh, off of misses, just puts another you know type of pressure on the defense when you can space around him. He can make plays in the middle of the floor. Um, it was kind of you know overwhelming in a positive way because it, you know he really pushed the tempo and we were all like playing really fast in the first half and we led to a couple of turnovers because we haven't had that thrust. Um, but we we kind of settled in and I think as as we go on you know next game against Toronto and, and beyond that we'll. You know, really start to gel and figure out uh, or get back to you know, really how we play Warrior basketball. I don't want to be presumptuous, but you guys have shot 43 threes tonight, shot 43 threes last time. It's ticking up now. I mean, I'm going to say you like that, but I, I got to give you the chance to answer that. Do you like where this is going, or do you think this is just a blip in terms of the, the spike in threes that you guys are shooting? I think we can sustain it, but like we talk about all the time, coaches mentioned it. It's the type of threes you get. And the last two games have been really good ones um, for the most part in terms of moving the basketball, finding the open guy. Um, obviously, when you see, like, Jonas has got up, I think, 16 in the last two games, that tells you how good we're moving the basketball and trusting each other. Uh, obviously, me, Clay, and KD are going to get ours um, on a nightly basis. It might not be uh, 28 like it was tonight, but it – can be close to that in terms of again just putting pressure on the, on the on the defense and transition, um, just making the easy pass and using each other as, as threats and, and uh, you know really having good offensive possession. So shooting 44 percent on them is what you know that's that's the that's the key. You can put up 43 bad ones and it doesn't really do anything for you. Um, that's that's what I think we're we're proud of the most. Steph, the first half seemed pretty disjointed, but you obviously found a rhythm and clicked a bit in the in the second half. What what changed? What was different about the way you guys played and you specifically? More that more just again trying to make the simple play. We were trying to do a lot in the first half just because we had another playmaker out there and Draymond who was looking to move the ball and get everybody you know open looks and things like that and. Again, we were just playing really, really fast and excited. Um, just had to settle in. Again, you know, make the simple play. There's, there's a lot of openings out there, um, and you can tend to over overthink or uh, rush a little bit. And we in the second half, we kind of slowed down. Hey Steph, unsurprisingly, Draymond was telling us one of the things that he missed about being out was being able to talk trash. As a teammate, what do you enjoy about that whole experience on the court when he's doing that? It's all about competitiveness and that fire, man. We enjoy what we get to do on a daily basis. And obviously, when you're out there, it's, you got to find different things to keep you engaged. And, um, you know, if you don't have energy in a certain stretch of the game, hearing somebody go at, you know, somebody else on the, on the on the other team or to themselves or talking to a teammate, it just kind of refocuses you a little bit and gets you, you know, re-engaged. Um, and over the course of 82, you need that. So it's so obviously you want to, you know, keep it productive, and that's that's what it, that's what it's about.